Hi, welcome back to Pi Simple GUI 2020 Part 11. Justification, this one is not on the menu. It is a bonus serving. And I have a feeling you're going to like this if you have been trying to get your elements in line. In particular, centered. Uh, it's not very well documented. I apologize for that. And I uh, don't know yet if there's cookbook entries for this, but... Okay. So the problem is that you've got a window that looks like this and you want to center these things like my window you want centered over that. Uh, and y you could uh, use the justification that is built in to say a text element. You can see here that there's a justification and I think almost all of them now you can do just single character. Um, but you would need to say that the size is larger than what the text string is because it auto sizes and an auto sized um, centering within an auto size doesn't do you very much good. So hey, I guessed pretty well here. Uh, we're almost centered. And you know, I could play around with padding perhaps to do that, but then we've got this monstrosity of two elements on a row uh, and then what happens when I run it on a screen that's a different size you know I change resolutions of the screen and then this doesn't match anymore and it's you start to not have fun real fast so the way around that uh, I want to turn on keep on top so I don't have to fight against PyCharm covering the window. The way we get around this is different depending on what port you're on. So the Tkinter port is the, f the nice one in a way um, because we can set an ele element justification on the window itself and set it to center. And when you run that, you'll see that the text element the two elements here, both input and list box together, uh, are centered. Uh, the the multi-line was already large. Uh, this is the largest thing on in the window, so it's going to center itself, and then the button centered. Right. So that worked pretty nice, but it only works for uh, tkinter. And so, what do you do on Qt? Uh, you do you use these things called stretch widgets, or stretch elements. And the way the stretch works, it's it's a unique thing. It, it's, it's a real widget, too, um, in Qt. The way stretches work are that if you put one to the left, then it pushes the things to the right of it to the right. So let's take a look at what that just did. We put one here on the first row, and that pushed my my uh, text all the way to the right. Uh, and you may have noticed also that cute buttons tend to span. They will fill whatever space they're given. Right? The stretch element is good for dealing with that as well. So as you might guess, to center an element, you put stretches on each side, and that's how you end up in the center. So, and that's that's why there's not been anything real special done on Qt to help you center things, uh, like there has been on uh, the Tkinter port. Uh, you, you may not like that you have to add those, but you can do like a user defined element. Let's make something here. Um, function that is going to return say a list and it will return a stretch and some elements that you pass in and a stretch so the idea here is that we're going to pass in some elements we're going to put stretches on both sides so we're going to do like what you see here but without having to do it for each row. And you can use the stretch on to kinter ports. 
and it will do absolutely nothing. Um, so you, you can sprinkle them throughout and they'll just be ignored. That way you can switch back and forth between cute and um, to enter with no problem. So, okay, so let's call our function right here like that. Let's try calling it here like that. I figured C for centered and I think this will work. Let's hope this works. That's our last row and we run it. Beauty, look at that. Okay, so we've centered all our elements. It's not too bad of a solution. You just have a little user defined element thing, stick it around each row. And also notice that our buttons got small. They were big, but now that we've put uh, stretches around them, they're small. If we were to put stretch elements around or just to the uh, right of those, so let's back everything out of here. Do a little bit of undo action. Uh, stick that off of there. Okay, so we're back to oops. We're back to our plain window again. Right, that's our decanter window. Now, if we were to change this uh, to cute, and we were to put a stretch over here. This pushes them to the left, right? Which they're already to the left, but it's, it stops that stretchy thing that happens. And if I were to take this off of here and go back to just plain Pi Simple GUI and run it, you'll see that the, the window runs just fine, even though it's got a stretch in there and it looks the same. Now, there's another way that you can center elements in PySimple GUI in with the um, tkinter port. And that is using the column element. So within columns, you can justify. There's a, uh, so let's take a look at the column. We already know we can put a layout in there, right? And looking at our handy built-in documentation, you will find element justification and it says all elements inside the column will have this justification left right or center so if i was to say layout which is what we called our layout is the uh uses element justification of c then let's put that in a layout so now we just put our layout in a layout and we said justify the elements that are within that layout to center and we've got ourselves a centered window again without using the one here we're using a column element um, you can obviously just do uh, a row or two at a time that way if you only wanted to uh, center some particular piece then you can stick it in a column and use the element justification you can also you may want to add if we want this to be exactly the same um, put a pad of zero zero on there and that will uh, add your column element without having your window size increase at all see how this window is a little bit bigger um, then the other one, if we were to comment this out and put our uh, justification here instead and run it, uh, they should be the same size. And they are. Yeah, they're the same size. So you can use either technique. You can do the whole window. You can do just a column. Um, and... I think that's all there is to it. Oh, there's a, you can also add justification on inputs. That's uh, another, uh, particularly you, you may want to write justify text in, in an input box, input element. See how that's uh, to the right. 
It works on multi-line as well, although I, you wouldn't normally input to the right probably a multi-line like you would a single. Okay, so I think that's all we have for this one. Thank you for watching.